Hello, hello, welcome to my garden. Today I will uh, talk about dahlias, how to winter store dahlia tubers. And uh, you had probably seen that I, during the season, are growing so many dahlias in pots. I don't plant them in the borders. I find it much easier to grow them in containers because then you can um, move them around and um, yes, it's, I think it's, it's easier. And I have been talking a lot about that. So today I will talk about uh, how to winter store the tubers. We are in October now and um, the problem with dahlia is that they will not survive if they get frost. So therefore I will um, just um, dip them up now. And uh, you can see here and uh, the tubers here, they are well rooted. And uh, yes, here you can um, see the tubers. They are looking um, quite good. Now I will take the soil off and um, it's um, quite easy. You can see the soil here is um, wet and it means uh, that I need um, to dry the tubers. I know that some people they um, they leave the tubers in the soil during the winter and um, if you have a mild winter um, they will probably come back the year after. Um, but um, I like to, um, to store them in the garage and uh, put them in boxes. And you can see here, yes, as I have said, they are looking great. I don't know how many tubers I have. But I know that I'm growing maybe 150, maybe 200 varieties, and um, I have um, maybe four, five, six pots with every variety. And um, I really like to have the same tubers year after year. Some of them I have got from old friends and um, it gives me so great memories when uh, they are flowering. I try to take the soil off here and then I'm taking the scissor and um, cut the stems down to around one centimeter. And then I have a box here where I will place them. And um, I can tell you that uh, we during the winter um, have five to 10 degrees. As I have said, it's very important that they don't get frost, but um, they can also be in a place which is too hot. Uh, and then they will uh, dry out. I will say that uh, between 5 and 10 degrees is a very good temperature. The next week or two I will place them with around 20 degrees because they need um, to dry a bit because if you uh, place them uh, with the wet soil um, you can you will maybe see that they will rotten. And I can just show you. Here I have a box. And um, here you can see the soil is um, it's dry and then has been drying for uh, about two weeks now. When I'm handling the tubers here, I'm always dreaming about um, summer and um, early autumn where all the dahlias are flowering and uh, I will I will just show you a little piece of film where you can see some of the dahlias.
I think it's um, amazing with the dahlias. I just love them and I don't know what I should do without them in, um, in my garden. So therefore I'm really taking care of the tubers. When they are dry, I wrap them in um, newspapers. Um, you can do it in so many ways. You can also cover them with um, potting soil. Um, but the thing is that um, it's very important that they will not dry out. But also um, it's very problematic if they are getting too wet. So I just place them here on the paper and uh, wrap it here. When I have wrapped all the tubers, I will um, place them in the garage. And then I'm looking after the tubers every, let's say, second or third week to see how they are. Because it's um, such a pity if um, you are looking at them in the spring, maybe in, um, in March, and um, then they have maybe dry dried out and maybe they have um, just rotten. So I will really recommend you to look after the dahlia tubers um, during the season. This was um, a little film from my garden. Once again, I will thank you so much to look after what I am doing here and um, I will wish you a great autumn in the garden. Goodbye. Good.